Hi everyone. I've been trying to shoot this video for months. It's already, what are we in March? Mid-March and I'm just now, well, hopefully I'll be able to get it right this time. I, I've not been able to talk. I can't, there's noise everywhere, kids, everything. And I just don't have time. I don't know how people do it. The people that film videos and have a full-time job and have their kids. I don't know how they do it, make all these videos and keep up their schedule. Anyway, enough about that. So this is what I'm using for this year so far. This is how I'm using my Hobonichis, my A5, my A6, and then my Weeks. I'll start off, I'll start with my A6. I have it right now. I have the same cover as this one, but right now I have it in a print Pressions. It's a metallic blue, I think it's called. And it has a little Coffee Monsters Co. emoji embossed on there in silver. It's it's the cutest thing. Anyway, so here it is. I just have a little butterfly here. This is the Hobonichi folder, A6. And I just have some pretty absorbent papers in here that I use when I draw in my Hobonichi. Now, because this one, this A6, I'm using it for artwork. I try to draw a little bit every day and I'm really behind on it. So obviously I haven't been keeping up. This is just something that I drew on black, a black post-it with, a, I think it was a jelly roll, white jelly roll. This is the second part of the year. This is the first part. The inside I just decorated with some, I think it's some shimmering watercolor. You can't really see it, but it did darken up the page a little. And then just some washi stickers that were gifted to me. And I did the same thing to the back, to washi stickers. And let's see, inside I'm just, okay, so this first sheet I did decorate with the Hobonichi pamphlet. I cut it up and put this little bit in here. And then this is just some washi tape that I was trying to use up. I kind of like it on there. Over here is my, I don't really use a calendar in this, but I thought I'd put the stickers in anyway. These are from Mandy Lynn Plans. The stickers for the month. She has a bunch of other stickers too that are cute. This is all I have though. And this is a printable from Shine Sticker Studio. And I covered the rest of the months. I mean, this is last year, I think, or next year. I don't remember what it was. I think it was next year. But I just covered that because I'm not... I don't really use this for keeping track of anything. This is uh, the index. I'm not using it for anything. I, maybe once I fill it up or if I may want to, whatever I draw, just put in here the, what I drew every day. In case I ever want to look back at it. Uh, again, nothing. I don't use the months for anything. I have the, uh, I have the Coffee Monster Co., uh, holiday stickers this one's from 2020 but it doesn't matter I just put the new year on there and I like that they were different than the 2021 anyway I just put the holidays on there and the book itself I'm using to draw so I drew my mom it looks nothing like her but I know it's her uh just drawings of whatever you know These are, I have yet to color in. And these were actually, actually this and this, this, a few of them were from Kelly Creates on Facebook. She does little quick tutorials. So I drew that. This I copied, I think from a Sojourner card that they send with their orders. More Kelly Creates. And so this is just uh, drawings. Our family had been playing a lot of disc golf lately. So I drew the basket. Uh, this is just a bottle of Noodler's ink that I that I draw drawing. More from Kelly Creates. Actually, I, I'm not sure this is from Kelly Cre Creates, one of her tutorials. I still need to color this in. I li like to watercolor those. This is actually a little calendar that I have, a little field size calendar that I keep in my purse in case I ever need to go something work real quick where I don't even want to take my uh, weeks. This these aren't naked men. These are sumo wrestlers. And I have a fascination with sumo wrestlers, probably because my dad, when he, when I was little, uh, used to always watch sumo wrestling and I, we used to watch it together and it just was fun. My son drew that one. It was just, I don't know. It's probably nostalgia. I really like them. 
this. What is this? Oh, this is a mushroom that I took a picture of at the park. I have yet to color that in as well, obviously. And a flower. Anyway, so I'm behind on my drawings. I need to catch up on my drawings. And then, so these are from John Plans, I think is the YouTube. And he draws these little animals with circles. I don't do a good job of it, obviously. Because <laughs> my owl, this is supposed to be an owl right here. And it looks like a penguin to me. But that's okay, it's still fun. Oh, this was another Kelly Creates, and it's a little St. Patrick's Day gnome. Little frog, little chicken, and a narwhal. I almost forgot what that was called. Anyway, so I'm just trying to fill this up with drawings. I don't know how successful I'll be, but that's that. This one is my A5. And you know what? This one, I got the two books, but I don't think I need the two books. I think next year I'll just get the regular A6, the Techo, without the two books. I won't get the Avec. No, they're not Avec. Is that what they're called? Yes, the Avec version. This is the Cousin. And again, the cover is the Time Traveling Bird, and I have the Eric cover on cover on it, and I love it. I love that it looks like he's sitting on this little bird, but I've already said that in previous videos, so let me just keep going. This is how I've, um, I don't really, I probably should decorate the side. This is just my, these are just my two stencils that I don't use in this at all. I just have it and I feel like I have to keep it there. I don't know why. This is just sticker paper that uh, I thought about binding and having a little sticker book. So I still have to do that. This actually is, here, let me take it out of here so you can see it. This is cardstock. Oh, my bookmarks are still on there. All right. So, oh, where'd my page keeper go? Here we go. All right. So these are the stickers. This is... I haven't decorated the front, but the inside, the inside cover, I stuck some, oh yeah, yeah, why can't I talk? All right, so this is what it looks like on the inside. I glued on some cardstock, and then this, these are just cutouts from magazines, and then these little butterflies are from the Antiquarian sticker book. These I drew in, these are little stars. Can you see that? And they're foiled. I drew them with this glue stick and it's quickie glue and they do sell it on Amazon. I don't remember if I bought it there or maybe jet pens. Anyway, the sticky glue, it has a little fine point. And so I draw the little stars and then I take left, well, like I have uh, from when I foil, I have not this one, I have some leftover foil in here somewhere. Oh, I hope I can find it. Here we go. Okay, so when I have foil left over, I don't throw it away. I keep it. And then, see, this is stuff that I foil. And then when I use the glue to draw the stars, I let it dry. And then I use, like, whatever leftover pieces of foil, and I just stick it and pull it back. Stick it and pull it back. And the foil stays over the glue. And it just, I love it. So I don't ever throw like my leftover foil away. I just keep it and I use it for drawing. Sometimes I draw like little, let's see, last year I drew like a bunch of pumpkins in my planner and then I foil them. You can foil your name, whatever, you, whatever, whatever you want to foil. And so this is the back, same thing, same cardstock I glued on there, and then just some things I cut up from magazines, and then the bugs are from the Antiquarian sticker book. So that's that, and when you open it, this is more of that pamphlet that I cut up. And so it says hand right here, and I cut up all the little people, and just glued them on there. On the other side of this, I have 
So I think I have said in another video that I like a Monday start. That's my preference. I've always grown up with a Monday start the way my work goes. Sunday start just works better for me. So I went to Google and I searched up printable, printable, why can't I say that word? I searched up print, print, oh my goodness. I searched up printable, printable. <laughs> okay, I went to Google. I searched up printable. I feel like I'm saying that word wrong. Printable. Anyway, printable calendar, 2021 calendar. And this one came up. I printed it. I highlighted my, you know, whatever important dates were for me. And then I... Um, just washi. I glued it on and then I just put some cute little washi around it. This is just a sticker from Shine Sticker Studio. These month stickers, again, are from Mandy Lynn Plans and so are these. I didn't change this because I don't really look back at the calendar from last year or really even look forward. But if I do, I can figure it out. I, I can use a Monday start calendar. I just prefer the Sunday start. So that's what I did there. This, I don't have anything on here for this is the month of the monthly for December. Well, I don't use my Hobonichi's until January. I use my old one until the first of the year. And so this is just a printable from Shine Sicker Studio again. And I printed it on vellum and I just put washi all around it. This one was from the Coffee Monsters Co. It's super cute. And then I drew this little flower on here and watercolored it in. And so these months, I'm just using, like, I write a little snippet of our day every day. These are little flowers. These This washi inspired these little flowers that I drew. February, of course, I had to draw hearts. And then I just, like I said, I just write a little bit of every day on here. Right now, it's the 18th. I haven't written it in today. But this is my month so far, March. I drew the little gnome from kelly creates and then just some clovers and then i just hand lettered all these are hand lettered and then i put the coffee monster co for all the holidays and then on the top right under the month right here i just use the full boxes from the coffee monsters co their planner kits and so that's all i've done so far but i'm, I'm hoping to keep up on this I like writing that little snippet, like I, I know what happened that day. Anyway, that's that. And then for the weeklies, I just draw in uh, some words and then I color it in with watercolor. So that's all I've been doing and I like it. I think it's fun and I love the crinkling of the pages. I know everybody talks about it. I love the crinkling and it doesn't have to be anything um, profound that I write in here. Just a word, a word that I want to color in later. Uh, sometimes it means something, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, obviously it means something, but nothing, like I said, nothing profound. So I just, these, I, I'm behind on water coloring them in. But I'm pretty much, well, no, I'm a little behind on drawing the words in. And then on my turning the page to a new year, I just have some watercolor. These three are uh, three Daniel Smith watercolors. And I saw a video where, well, if I can find it, I'll link it below. But uh, the YouTuber was saying that she can make pretty much any color with those three colors. And so I tried it. I obviously not great, but I'm pretty happy with the range. I I mean, obviously I end up with a bunch of greens. You can see that there's a bunch of greens and different shades and blue greens, but for the most part I'm happy with it. I'm sure I'll get better as I practice more. So these are the three colors that I used and I mixed them to make all these other colors. This is just a little bit of washi. Then I just wrote in love on there. And so I, I'm so happy that I've been really good at keeping up with my daily journals. I'm not gonna really stop on them because they are personal, but I'll just, maybe I can do a quick flip through. How was that? So most of it is writing, but I do, I do draw and put washi and stickers in there too. So this is it. Um, I, I, sorry, I can't share the daily pages with you because like it is, it is my daily journal and it's personal. 
to me. This is my Weeks, and I love it. This is my Weeks. It's in a salty cake cover. I bought a Sojourner when I first ordered it, and I did not realize that this was a make a sneaker Weeks, and apparently it's it is a little bit smaller, so it was too small for my Sojourner. So I ordered this from Salty Kate. Is she on Etsy? I believe she's on Etsy. Perhaps. I'll link her. Um, Salty Kate, and it's a jelly cover with the little stars. This is just a die cut, or is it a sticker? It might be a sticker. From the Coffee Monsters Co. This is a digital download. I purchased it from... Shine Sticker Studio, and it's actually a pencil board for the weeks. But I cut up the tab and then just put it in here because I, I think it's so cute. And you know what? I do wish, like, the color of the elastic is optional on Salty Kate. I wish it, I would have gotten pink like it, like this little pencil board shows. But it's gray, and that's okay. I like it. So on the inside of this, I've been collecting my little tea tabs. I want to do something with it. I don't know what yet. So on the inside, I covered it with washi. This is the James Burke washi. These other two are from a kit, a package, well, just two washies from Michael's. But these ones are from Shine, not Shine, I was going to say Shine Sticker Studio, from James Burke, and he has an Etsy store. And I love his artwork, and I love these washies, and I love how it looks together. I did that in the front and the back. This is just some swatching I did with my jelly roll on black post-it. And these are, I think I got these at Jet Pens, I'm pretty sure. These are just um, post-its, well not post-its, but sticky notes. And they're vellum, I think, and they're translucent, so you can see what's underneath too. But they're so cute, I love it. Um, and this is just something I cut out from a magazine and laminated it. It says, what separates privilege from entitlement is gratitude by, is it Brené Brown? I think, I don't know. So that's how I'm using, well, that's not how I'm using, that's how I decorated my weeks. Um, the first page I just put a sticker kit from the Coffee Monsters Co., the New Year sticker kit. These are just some stickers from In-N-Out. So when I have cheat days and I go to in and out I put a little sticker on it. So this is the same printable that I used for my A5. And again, stickers from Mandy Lynn Plans and with the Monday start. And I don't use this at all. I might buy a sticker to cover it. I haven't used this at all either. I don't know what to use it for. The index and then my months, I just hand letter in the month and then just decorated however you know however I want it got really noisy so I had to go and come back so I'm using these I don't use my weeks until the first of the year so these extra weeks that start in November or the last week in November and then go on to December I've used to swatch my watercolor inks I said watercolor my fountain pen inks and then I just put some washi on the bottom. But these are fountain pen inks that I have. Some of them I've duplicated because I was not doing a good job of keeping track what I had already swatched. And then a lot of these are samplers for shimmering inks from Goulet Pens. I, I bought a sampler and it's working pretty well. I've used these with, um, let me show you. Okay, so I've been using this pen for my shimmering inks because I don't want it to clog up my other inks. I mean, my other pens, my other fountain pens. And this is one that I bought from Amazon. And it's a, it says Amazon Basics. It's an Amazon Basics fountain pen. And it's pretty substantial. And I got it with the medium nib to see if that would help with the shimmering inks. Look at it. It's, it's a good size. It's pretty substantial and um, it weighs, it's pretty hefty. It weighs, if you know what the Pilot Vanishing Point weighs, it, it's almost exactly the same weight. So here it is. You can see it. It writes nicely. I like it. If you know of a good fountain pen that takes, that works well with shimmery inks, let me know. I, I might want to get that. 
So anyway, that's what I use those for. Okay, I keep getting interrupted. So anyway, um, that's what I use my my weeks that correspond to November and December. And then at the beginning of the week, oh, these tabs are from the Monsters, the Coffee Monsters Co. too. Aren't they so cute? Anyway, so that's those are the tabs. And then the weeks themselves, I use a sticker kit from Keepsakes by Ashley. And I have a few of the I have a few of the kits that I bought last year. And I'll show you what they look like. I'm gonna pull this just so it stops moving. So these are the kits that I bought last year, and they have I bought the this is Penguin Love, so it has a little name on there. It has a bunch of little stickers. Some washi for the top and the bottom. Obviously, they're not washi, but they're just strips that you can use on the top and the bottom, like washi. Have a little checklist for each day of the week. And then they have the day of the week strip. And then just a bunch of little stickers. And then this is an add-on. Of course, matching add-on, it has the months. Not the months. The days of the week that you can put in the weekly here. The hydration stickers I don't really use those and then just these coordinating stickers so I bought quite a few last year or the year before actually and I didn't end up using all of them so I what I do is I use them for the whole month I'll show you I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and do a setup for April I tried to film this one but I I just was unsuccessful so what I do is I use that weekly one here and because I like a Sunday start, I start on Sunday and then tear that off and then put the rest of the week down here. So it, it turns it into, it works fine. And then I decorate the pages with whatever stickers came with it. And then I find kind of coordinating washies to put in there. And I'll show you how I do my weeks. This is a, this is how I do it. Okay, so I always outline this and then I leave this little bit right here so I can put my work schedule. So on the days that I work, I write in my hours here. And then I just write over it with a fine liner. And then this, I just use, I just use a ruler and just make it dotted. This I do with just a ruler and just separate that so I could write my days of the week down here. And I saw somebody do that on a Hobonichi group on Facebook. I hand letter in weekend. So when I hand letter, sometimes I forget how to spell. I don't forget how to spell, I just forget letters. So right here, this one's right, weekend, but often I forget the second E. I don't know why. I'm concentrating on how to hand letter, which you wouldn't think would be that hard because I'm not great at it. But anyhow, I draw this little box here. I used to think, why do people keep track of the weather. I, I didn't make sense to me, but then somebody explained that they do that so they can plan their wardrobe. Well, I like to go running or walking outside. And so I like to get at least 10 miles in a week. So I like putting the weather because if it's gonna be rainy or too windy or just, well, I, I'll go out in the cold. If it's gonna be raining, basically that's the only thing that'll really stop me from going out. If it's gonna be raining, I know I'm not going to get to go on that day because I will not go running in the rain. I'll just have to make up for it on the other days and I'll know that ahead of time. So I don't, don't end up at the end of the week with not enough miles, which still happens. So these boxes I just drew in and these I just dinners. So I try to plan our dinners ahead of time. My husband and I discuss what we're going to have and then that leads to the shopping. So I know what I need to buy for said dinners. And then I just, this one I'm gonna be on vacation, so I put a little vacation sticker on there. And then I do a habit tracker. Again, this one I I saw somebody do it. It's got a little bit of smudging. I saw somebody do it on a Facebook group. And they just, you know, just did all the squares Sunday through Saturday, and then just what I'm tracking. So I'm tracking my nose spend, vitamins, exercise, and yoga. So exercise besides yoga. 
yoga I'm trying to do, uh, new face is a thing that's supposed to keep me looking young, which I never do, so it's not going to work. It's something for your face. Um, lunges, I try to do lunges, so that's besides, you know, just regular, any other. This is exercise, but any other exercise. This is specifically for yoga, and I try to do lunges because, because I just have to. And then I'm trying to do keto because that's the only thing that helps me lose weight. And so these little squiggly lines here, I do with the Hobonichi stencil, which is this one. This is the one I use for this notebook. And this line is almost the exact perfect, it pretty much is the exact perfect size to make this. So I just start where it goes right here and it goes all the way to there, to where I make the line for my work schedule. There you go. I just happen to have these stickers. Usually I would just write vacation in there or just VAC in here. And then on my days off, I would just put days off. And then if I'm working, I put my work hours here, but a little check off. And then I right here. So these boxes right here, I write how many miles I did on that day. And then here I put the total for the week. So that's how I do it. I think next month, I'm going to attempt to do a plan with me and I'll pick out another sticker like maybe this one. This is cute. This would be cute for spring. Perhaps there's some of them that are month specific or that are winter specific. This one I didn't, I don't think I ordered. They had, I mean, I realized they had skulls on them when I ordered them, but okay, I like it. So anyhow, this is how I'm using my weeks. And I I do really enjoy it. I, I don't see myself ever not having a weeks again. And I don't ever, you know, the, the A6 one is the one I use the least, but I still love it. I still enjoy coloring in it. Uh, this is just the pencil board from the weeks. I think it's from last year. This is a pencil board from Shine Sticker Studio. You know what? It's not a digital download. I bought the pencil board and then I laminated it. So I bought two of them. The one I keep in the front and then this one I just... Um, this is the pencil board I laminated. This one is not laminated, but I cut the top off and all the way around it to put in the front, on the front of my weeks inside the planner. And then this is just a sticky pen loop that I stuck to the back of this. And so I can have my pen here. And it's just a ballpoint pen. I forget the maker, but I love it. I got it at a Mito. And so that keeps my pen. And I love it. Here we go. Oh, so the, the back of the pages, I just keep for random notes. Different, different miscellaneous things. Stuff for my parents, stuff that I do for my parents, stuff that I do for myself. This is a folder, craft folder where I keep my stickers from, what is it? Keepsakes by Ashley. And so that's how I'm using my Hobonichis this year. And I'm very happy with them. I think I'm most happy, like I said, with my A5 and my Weeks. This one I enjoy as well, but it's not, doesn't excite me as much as these two. So if for some reason I were to get rid of one last next year, it would be this one. That's only if I would, were to incorporate more drawings into my A5. But I really do like that room for journaling. So I'll probably get another one. But next year I won't get the Avec. I'll just get the one book. Because I don't see a reason. It's not like I'm stuffing these that I would need two books and they're tiny. And I'm not really usually taking them anywhere. They just stay at home. Unless I'm going somewhere for a long trip, then I'll take it with me. But other than that, they stay at home. Anyway, that's how I'm using it. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed any part of this video, please give me a like. Consider subscribing. I know I have not been consistent. I wanted to be consistent of uploading videos, doing plan with me's, or at least setup videos for the month. I'm, trying, I'm gonna try and do a setup video for every month for my weeks. I'm not sure how interesting that's going to be since I pretty much do the same thing every month, but maybe I'll change it up. Who knows? 
anyway, if you enjoyed any part of this video, please give me a like, sub consider subscribing, and that's it for now. I'll see you, hopefully, later this month. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.